everyone and welcome to my new Dolly paint video and today guys I'm going to customize the most beautiful and the most unique doll in my entire doll collection really I'm not exaggerating I have a huge stock of dolls hundreds of dolls and this one is really the most beautiful and the most unique and I'm talking of course about this beautiful two headed mermaid i don't know just look at this doll guys everything is so perfect about it the faces the body the skin the fins i don't know the shape of the tail all the tiny details i think this is one of the best monster high dolls I've ever seen in my life really this doll is absolutely amazing so let's turn her into something fun and even more beautiful I want this doll to look like a real queen of the ocean it's gonna be quite a lot of work of course today because I would have to do everything double reroute the heads twice paint the faces twice so it will be quite a big makeover but you know I'm really excited about this one I've been waiting for a very long time to repaint this doll and now it's holiday season it's finally time to get out my best dolls out of the chest and repaint them so this being said let's start the transformation of course please guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos and of course please don't forget to support my art here on youtube with your likes because it really helps so this being said let's start working but first I want to take another close look at this doll, at how it's all made, how it all functions and you can see that these heads are actually placed very close together, their ears are literally touching each other so I will have to consider it later when I will be styling their hair and for the rest this is an amazing doll it's very detailed all the elements have been sculpted very 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 detailed really this is one of the most beautiful monster high dolls ever in my opinion but yes we're going to destroy her anyway so let's start like always with undressing cutting their hair off disconnecting both of the heads from the body and then i will remove their faces with pure acetone
And look, I have prepared very special hair for this doll. These are two different hair blends that include these things. I don't know even how to call them. They look kind of like seaweed. So I think it will look absolutely amazing on them. I don't want them to be opposites of each other, but I want them to have kind of different taste in things. So one prefers hair that looks like some tropical sea bottom with colorful fish and plant. And another one loves more the aesthetic of northern water waters with more dark and murky colors. I think it will look good together. So let's give them this new hair after covering their heads with black acrylics. Here it is eight hours later, I don't know, somehow I managed to reroute both of them in one day and I think it looks really fun. So now I will add glue inside of the heads and then I will let them dry for a couple of days. When the glue gets dry, I spray the faces with Mr. Super Clear sealant and then I can start drawing. So let's start probably with the more colorful one and I want her to have blue and green eye makeup, pale pink lips and very light watery blue eyes.
And the second sister will have dark green eyeshadows and red lips. And I also want to have her light green eyes. Okay, this is where I've ended up with their faces and you know I think they look very similar but also very different at the same time and this is exactly where I wanted to end up with this makeover so I'm very happy about it and now it's time to work on their body and they're actually a snake that's why the shape of the tail isn't really typical for a mermaid it's more thin it's more long and round it's more like a snake shape uh, but I think it looks very pretty with all these fins, such an unusual shape, very beautiful, I really like it. And I'm going to cover this tail with this beautiful sequence. I think these are just the prettiest sequins I've ever seen in my life. I ordered them online and I expected them to have, you know, kind of some green shift, maybe a little bit of this gasoline effect, something like this. But I've got a full-blown multi-chrome here, really, it's very pretty, unbelievable. So, and I'm going Going to spend hours of my life if not days attaching these tiny sequin pieces to the doll's tail really i cannot believe i'm doing it again
were thinking for a while about her fins because these pink fins are actually glow in the dark. And it's very cool. Glow in the dark is always cool. We love glow in the dark on this channel. But I unfortunately cannot keep them pink because I want everything to be so black and multi-chrome like a real sea snake. So I will paint the fins black and then I will add green iridescent details to it. Yes, I think the fins look great and the tail in general looks simply fantastic, really awesome. I'm very happy about it. So now let's make a top for this doll and I wanted to match the tail because I simply love the sequence so I want to cover the top with the sequence as well. So I begin with making a quite basic top out of Warble Thermoplastic and then I will cover it with sequins, add some golden chains and some tiny golden decorations. And you know, I should have probably done it earlier, but I really want to add some green highlight to her skin using the same green iridescent paint. But anyway, it's not too late. I can make it all very carefully, but I will need a piece of an old beauty blender for it.
Okay, I think the skin looks absolutely fantastic now, as well as the doll in general. And now I think it's time to style their hair. And you know, I want to take a closer look at this hair, because this texture is completely new for me. So first of all, you can easily brush this hair, no problem with it, I'm very happy, I was a little bit concerned about it all the time, but no, no problem with brushing. But there is another kind of minus point that I've noticed, you can see that this nylon hair, this synthetic hair, is more kind of dense and jumpy, so this hair goes up from itself all the time. And this textured hair is very soft, and it ends up underneath completely, it all goes to the bottom kind of the hair. I think you can see it clearly on camera. I haven't brushed it like this on purpose, this is really how it happens automatically on its own. So, let's see if I can curl this hair, because curling would help me to connect the different types of hair together. Oh yes, guys, curling works, super, very happy, so let's curl it. This is how it looks curled, I think it looks absolutely beautiful, love it, but I've decided to make ponytails, something similar to what they had originally, because their heads are very close to each other, remember I showed you in the beginning of this video, their ears are literally touching each other. So I have to make a hairstyle that will be more flat on one side, where the heads come together, and then it will be more wild and curly and fluffy on another side. And I think it looks great. I'm really very happy with this end result. They look so good together, so different and so similar at the same time. So now I still want to attach false lashes, earrings, add gloss to their eyes and lips, and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. Guys, this is my finished two-headed mermaid, and I think it's one of the most beautiful dolls I've ever made. Their faces and hair look simply amazing, and as I told it already a couple of times, they're very different and also super similar at the same time, and I'm very happy about that. And then the tail decorated with all these sequins is definitely a highlight of the project. It looks so pretty, really amazing. It's just a pity it takes so long to finish it. Decorating this tail with sequins took me for sure around 5 hours. And I can tell you those were very long 5 hours, but the result looks stunning. So it was totally worth it, I'm very happy. So guys, and what do you think about this makeover? You know, I'm always curious to hear your opinion and I always listen to what you say, so please don't hesitate to leave your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm especially curious to know which one of these two hats is your favorite, the dark green one or the blue and pink. Write it in the comment section down below, please. And if you want to buy this doll, she's available for sale on eBay for three days right now, so please check out the 
the link in the description box under this video. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you very soon, in a week probably, next week Friday, in my new doll makeover. Have a nice weekend. Love you guys. Bye.